Hello friends, so next numerical is on roller fall over with radial position. So in this first we will draw a base circle having radius RC. After then we will draw another circle. In this circle we have radius of base circle and also the roller of the fall over. So both radius will be add to make this circle. This is roller fall over and we will divide this circle in angles like phi A, delta 1, phi D and delta 2. So in this phi A is angle of ascent. We will divide this angle of ascent in 6 equal parts from 0 to 6 like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we will draw lines start from the center of the circle and passing through the points from like this. Now we will mark these lines as per the displacement curve from 0 dash to 6 dash and we will join all the points. Now we will create a circle on each mark point which having radius RR and now we will make final cam profile for angle of ascent that will be tangent to all the circle. So this is a cam profile. Like this we will complete this numerical. So now we will move on to numerical. So first draw the profile of a cam operating a roller reciprocating follower. So now in this first the minimum radius of cam is 25 mm so RC is equal to 25 mm. In this the lift is equal to 30 mm so H is equal to 30. Roller diameter is 15 mm so roller radius is 7.5 mm. The cam lifts the follower for 120 degree with SHM. So phi A is equal to 120 degree with SHM and follower rise and dwell period is 30 degree so this is delta 1. Follower lowers down during 150 degree of cam rotation with uniform acceleration and deacceleration. So phi D is equal to 150 and this is uniform acceleration and deacceleration. And next is delta 2 60 degree. The speed is 150 rpm. So now we can calculate the angular velocity like omega is equal to 2 pi by 60. So that will be equal to 5 pi radian per second. Now we'll move on to make a follower displacement diagram. So in this first we have to make for simple harmonic motion SHM. So we'll create a rectangle box. In this horizontal side we will put phi A and in vertical H. We'll take a suitable scale for angles of rotation. So in this phi A is equal to 120. So we can take like 18 centimeter is equal to 360 degree. So simply phi A is equal to 6 centimeter. After then we will divide this phi A in 6 equal parts from 0 to 6. Like this. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we will draw vertical lines. For a simple harmonic motion we will make a semicircle on left side and we will divide this in 6 equal parts. Now from each point we will draw horizontal line and we will mark the intersection points like this from 0 dash to 6 dash. And we will join all these points and this is the final displacement curve for follower rise. Now next is dwell first that is 30 degree and next uniform acceleration and deacceleration. So same like we will first create a rectangle box and in this phi d is equal to 150 degree so you have to take a suitable scale same wise and we'll divide this in six equal part and we'll draw all the lines now further as the center line we'll divide in six equal parts and draw a diagonal after then from top left bottom to we will join six five four three and same like uh, bottom right corner to zero one two three now we'll mark the intersection points from 6 dash to 0 dash and we'll join with a smooth curve like this. So this is a displacement diagram, displacement curve for follower return and next last is 12 that is delta 2 is 60 degree. So this is follower displacement diagram. This diagram will be helpful for making a final cam profile. So now uh, first we'll draw a base circle after then RC plus RR that we already have discussed. Now as this is radial follower so in this we will take a roller follower on radial position and next we will divide this circle in different angles that is phi A, delta 1, phi D and delta 2. Now we will divide this phi A in 6 equal parts from 0 to 6 and same like phi D 
from 6 to 0. Now we will draw a line start from the center point passing through the points like this. Same for 5D and now we will mark the displacement on these lines as we already have 0 to 0 dash, 1 to 1 dash, 2 2 dash, 3 3 dash, 4 4 dash, 5 5 dash, 6 6 dash. Same for 5D from 6 6 dash to 0 0 dash. We will mark all. Now we will join these all points by a smooth curve. Now we will make a circle on each point which having radius that is 7.5 mm uh, radius of roller. Now this is tangent. Same for delta 1. This is an arc. For 5D will make a tangent and for delta 2 that will be an arc. This is final profile. Now we will find calculate the uh, maximum velocity and uh, uniform acceleration. So with the help of this formula we can easily calculate the maximum velocity during descent period and same maximum or we can say uniform acceleration we can calculate by this formula.